Hey, have you heard? Meta is releasing their own operating system that could fundamentally change how the VR space works altogether. It could be good, it could possibly even be great, and it could possibly also be bad. Stick around and find out all the good, great, and bad that's coming your way with this new operating system. If you don't know me, I'm Fizzful of Shrimp. I make Unity tutorials and cover VR development topics. So let's talk about this Horizon operating system. For Meta, it seems to be a big leap for them aimed at making VR more accessible and versatile. Essentially what they're trying to do is become the new operating system of the VR world. So kind of like how Windows is pretty much PC, that's what they want to become. They want to have a big old open system so hardware manufacturers and developers can come in and play in this big sandbox together. And I use Windows as an example because sure there is Linux out there as the big, big open platform, but Meta is not going to do that they got to make some money. So that's what they're aiming to do here. They want to become the windows of VR, AR, XR, all the R's. Now, the cool thing about this announcement is we already have some pretty exciting partnerships, or so Meta says. We got big names like Asus, Lenovo, and even Xbox seem to be on board. So this means for us that there's going to be more hardware options in the future, and that could potentially increase the VR user space. So depending on what all these different brands end up releasing, it sounds like we'll have more competition, more different hardwares, and more advances in VR, and hopefully a lower barrier of entry for all the people still on the fence about VR. For you, this just translates into a wider audience and more feedback to refine your games. Now, with all these VR headsets and hardware coming out, it's not going to be just fully feature complete. Sure, some will, but it sounds like some are going to be more specialized. Here's Zuckerberg's thoughts on it. You can imagine a lightweight headset that pairs with your computer on your desk uh, to provide the best work experience, or you can imagine one that's fully focused on watching immersive entertainment. You know, think of one that's fully optimized for gaming. You can imagine one that's designed for exercise that's extra light with sweat wicking materials. So with companies focusing on more like performance gaming headsets or mixed reality headsets, you can develop games around those specific hardware capabilities and get a little more high performance visuals out of these things. VR, AR, and XR still need a ton of more experimentation to see what features really win out. And luckily with all these companies hopping in and making all these headsets, we actually might see what features people People enjoy the most. And although all these different headsets can be new, exciting, and fun, I just hope the Horizon operating system just reduces uh, the headaches that normally come with developing with so many devices. I mean, that's kind of the idea, right? Now, it sounds like it's not just the operating system that is opening up for hardware. Zuckerberg also mentioned that he wants to open up the Meta Store. So this means that we could see storefronts like Steam, Xbox Cloud Gaming, and possibly even Google Play. So as a developer, the more storefronts means the more opportunities to sell your game on those storefronts. I just want to be able to launch my Steam games from the Horizon operating system without having to go through Steam Link. Like, I know it's great and we have Steam Link. I'm just, just one less click. That's all I'm after. Now, with the announcement of the storefronts, even more exciting is the fact that App Lab games will no longer be hidden by needing a direct link to them. Instead, they're planning on exposing all your polished early access games to anyone who visits the future App Lab page. So now you'll have a broader audience to test out new features, fix all the bugs, and gain some fans while it's still in that App Lab development phase. I honestly don't know why this wasn't in it from the beginning, but I am happy they're putting it in now. So so what does this mean for you as a VR developer? Well, first off, we have an open ecosystem. So having the Horizon operating system means we'll have fewer restrictions and more opportunities in terms of storefronts. So now we can develop our VR games with confidence, knowing that we can publish and promote in the Steam store, Horizon store, or whatever store you want. We'll also get the benefit of a unified platform. So we'll be able to reach multiple devices by different manufacturers and hardware developers and only have to worry about this single operating system. So that's pretty nice. And like I hinted at before, we will have the ability to make specialized development applications. So, you know, we can tailor our games for a specific headset. As an example, you know, say there is a whole fleet of headsets designed specifically for fitness. And with those headsets, you could build applications and games that take advantage of whatever features those fitness headsets have in place. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows here. We also have to talk about some of the downsides. So, 
one of the first ones I'm thinking of is market consolidation. You know, uh, with Meta controlling a large portion of the VR ecosystem, there could be some concerns about them having too much power in it being centralized to them. Potentially in the future, that could stifle some innovation. We also have privacy concerns. You know, as developers, and I don't know about you, but for myself, I do care about my users' data and I don't want it being spread everywhere. And Meta hasn't had the best reputation in the past with people's data. They've even renamed their entire company to move past their old reputation, which fair, you know, if you don't remember Cambridge Analytica, that was a thing. Which, I mean, all of these things kind of center around one big fundamental problem, which is a dependence on Meta. Dependence on Meta it could lead to developers being vulnerable to sudden policy changes and platform shifts. But whether we like it or not, Meta seems to be the big movers in the VR world right now. They've dumped a ton of money to make this work, and we're kind of dependent on them already. Sure, there's Apple in the Vision Pro, but let's let's be real here. I'm a VR developer on YouTube who pretends to be a shrimp. I don't have money for a Vision Pro, come on. I guess only time will tell if Horizon operating system is going to be a good or a bad thing, but for now, I'm going to remain very optimistic about this announcement, and I look forward to seeing what new hardware comes out of it. The VR world is looking better and better every day, so I'm excited to see what possibilities come from all of this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this good, bad, or in between? Give me a like if you found this informative, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!